Hi, and welcome to another TaskSat video. Would you like to edit your tasks from your computer or iPad? I'm Steve, and today I'll show you around the Tasks web app, how to use it, and how to install it on your computer. If it's helpful, please like and subscribe to help support my work so that you don't miss future videos. Right, the web app. Before we begin, I'm using Chrome on a Mac but everything will work the same on Windows, Linux, and with Microsoft Edge, Firefox, Safari web browsers, etc. Next, the web app is only available to premium users. If you're already a premium user, thank you so much for your support. If you're not a premium user, simply upgrade to premium from the main menu within Tasks app. Finally, for the purpose of this video, I have a phone connected to a premium account which already has some lists and tasks, etc. The first question you probably have is how do I get to the web app? Simply open your web browser and search for Tasks app. After the adverts, you'll see Tasks website. Alternatively, you can go directly to mytasksapp.com. I'll put a link in the video description. This is the Tasks website with links to the help at the top. In the right, you'll see a login button. I'll click it and we're presented with a login. Use the same account as your premium account and after a successful login, you'll see your data. I'll increase the size a little for easier viewing. Note how the web app scales. The web app will scale all the way from a large 4K computer monitor down to a phone screen and everything in between. Let's have a quick walk around the interface. I've tried to make the web app follow the mobile app where possible, so things should feel very familiar. On the left, we have the main menu. We can use the menu icon at the top to hide and show the main menu. Particularly useful when using the web app on an iPad. Just like the mobile app, the main menu displays our lists, standard lists, filtered lists, shared lists and even the calendar view can all be viewed in the web app. Simply click a list to load it. One additional feature on the list items is right click. We'll see a delete option, click it and we'll see a confirmation. I'll cancel it as I don't want to delete this list. Next up, we have the sublist tabs at the top. Again, clicking a tab will load the sublist. On the top right, we have the add sublist button and sublist menu. Again, just like the mobile app, the options should look very familiar. In the center, we have our tasks. We can click a task to show the task details and change the priority, for example, then save. We can use the drag handles on the right to drag and drop our tasks vertically. And we can right click a task to see the context menu. In the mobile app, this would be a long press. I'll use it to highlight a task. Subtasks and tags work in the same way as the mobile app, so I won't cover these. You can add subtasks and tags just like you would normally from tasks details. At the bottom of our screen, we have quick add. I'll type a new task and then hit enter to save it to our list. Finally, the yellow add button, bottom right. Tap it and we can create a new task with all the options available. I'll add a title, change the priority and save. The next thing I want to cover is a way to install tasks. This feature is currently available in Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge for macOS, Windows and Linux and for Safari on an iPad. Please search the web for how to do it on your setup or just email me and I'll guide you. For my setup, I open the main menu in Chrome, then more tools and create shortcut. I'll give it a name and I want it to open as a window. When you're done, click create. It creates a local app that I can open and see all my data. I can add it to my dock for easy access and click to open. Please note an internet connection is still required. The final thing I want to cover is when data will sync. After you make a change in the web app, a few seconds later a message is sent to your device that asks it to sync. So you can keep making updates in the web app and they'll gradually be reflected on your mobile device. Updates made on your mobile device will not cause the web app to refresh. So make your changes, close Tasks mobile app to sync, 
Then, in the web app, simply refresh the page, just like you would any other website. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a like. If it was helpful, please subscribe to my channel and help support my work. It's very much appreciated. Finally, if you need any help with anything in tasks, or have a suggestion for improvements or a future video, just send me an email, details in the video description below, or leave a comment and I'll do my best to reply.